Hello guys, welcome back to Algods. In this video, we are going to cover the concept of doubly linked list and how to optimize the space utilized in making a doubly linked list. So watch this video till the end as I can guarantee you, you, can go, you are going to learn a new concept in this video. And before starting it, do not forget to subscribe our channel Algods. So let's start. So you all must be aware of singly linked list, right? In singly linked list, we can go in one direction only. So suppose this is the linked list one, two, three, and in the end it is null. So in a singly linked list, we go from one to two, then two from three, and then three to null. But what? But what if we want to traverse in both directions? Like if we want to go from two to one. So in that case, we use a doubly linked list. So what is difference between a singly linked list and a doubly and a doubly linked list? So let's see that first. So in a singly linked list, what a node looks like? Suppose this is the node. So in a singly linked list, there are two partitions. The one which stores the value that is stored in the node, and the second part stores the address of the next node, uh, the node which will come after the, the current node and the node which is in the doubly linked list has two addresses this one stores the address of the previous node and this one stores the address of the next node and this can be used for storing the value of the node so let's see how a doubly linked list will look like so suppose the first node is one second is two third is three so they will be connected like this so in the end there will be null and in the start there will also be null because nothing is in previous position to one so suppose we want to go from one to two we can go as there will be an address stored of two in the node of one and if we want to go from two to three we can do so because the address of three will be stored in the node having two but what if we want to go from 3 to 2 back like in this way we can do this with the help of double linked list because in the node 3 the address of 2 will also be stored uh, which is not stored in the singly linked list so in this way the double linked list can help us in traversing in both direction forward and backward also so many a times when we are discussing about double linked list in the interviews the interviewer ask about how to optimize the space utilized in this as you can clearly see we are using two variables for storing the address of the previous and the next node. So the interviewer wants here that you should implement the doubly linked list functionality, the functionality of doubly linked list in the space which is similar to singly linked list. That is you have to store address only once. You, you can store only one address. So how to do this? So for reducing the space utilized in making a doubly linked list, we build a special linked list, which is called a ZOR linked list. So I will first tell you how it's node and what is stored as an address in it, and then we'll see how it works. So let's see. The node of a ZOR linked list has two spaces, one for storing the value of the node, and the second space is used to store the ZOR of the node which occurs in which occurs previously to the current node and the no address of the node which occurs next to the current node. So let's see with the help of an example. Suppose the link list is one, two, three. Okay. And for simplicity, I am taking address of this node as 1, this node as 2, and this node as 3. So, as it will be a doubly linked list, let's mark the arrows also. This will point to null, and its previous will also be null. So, I am taking the address of null as 0. So, 
the value of this node is 1 so what will be stored in the address space of this it will be 0 xor 2 because 0 is the previous uh, 0 is the address of the previous node and 2 is the address of the next node so it will store 0 xor 2 which is equals to 0 so here it will have 2 so let's see what will be stored in the address bar of this node it will store the address of previous node which is 1 and the address of the next node which is 3 so 1 xor 3 is also equals to 2 so it will store 2 as in the address space and let's look at the third node the node previous to the third node is this one and it has an address 2 so it will do zor of 2 and 0 which is the next node so it will be 2 okay let's see how we can iterate over this linked list now so for iterating over zor linked list we just need one thing we maintain the address of the previous node in a variable so let's uh, name it as previous and currently we are at this node so the previous address will be 0 so uh, what is the property of zor so if we zor a b and a a and a will get cut and we will get the value of b so let's use this because the value which is stored as an address in the address space is the previous address xor the next address so what if we xor it with previous one both of them will get cancelled and we will get the address of the next node so we can easily shift from the current node to the next node and we will store the uh, address of the current node as the previous node in the variable so let's go through it it might be a little confusing let's go through it one time so let's fill the address spaces of this uh, zor linked list and then we'll iterate over it so as discussed uh, the address will the value which will store which will be stored in this space will be the zor of the address of the previous node and the zor of the address of the next node so 0 xor 3 will be 3 so 3 will be stored here for here it will store the zor of the address of the previous node and the next node so it will be 1 xor 2 so it will be 3 so 3 will be stored here so for this node the xor of the previous and the next node will be stored here so it will be 3 xor 4 which will be 1 0 0 so 1 1 1 1 1 which will be 7 and the value which will be stored in this space will be the address of the uh, zor of the address of the previous node and the next node which will be 2 xor 0 which will be 2 so we have filled the address spaces now let's iterate over the linked list so if we are iterating from the left so the previous address will be 0 and we are on this node so we will use the uh, the value stored in our address space to determine the address of the next node so 0 xor 3 it, it will be equal to 3 so it will give the address of the next node then what we'll do we'll just move the current node to the next node and before doing that we'll store the address of the current node in the previous value so that we can use it to determine the address of the next node which will be this one so now the value which will be value which is stored is 3 and the previous node has the address of 1 so it will be 1 xor 3 which will give us 2 which is the address of the next node so we'll update the previous value with the address it uh, which was 3 as we we were on this node so now we are in this node and the previous has 3 is stored in it and the address which we have stored in the current node is 7 so it will be 3 xor 7 so 7 is this and 3 is this so after we perform xor 
you will get 4 which is the address of the next node so in this way we can iterate in the forward direction now let's see how we can iterate in the reverse direction so now we'll traverse in the reverse direction so for traversing in the reverse direction we just need a variable which will store the address of the next node to the current node so currently we are on this node so the next node has an address 0 so let's iterate the value which is stored in the address space of this node is 2 so to determine the address of the previous node we have to do ZOR of the address uh, address stored in our node and the next so we'll get 2 which is the address of the previous node uh, and as we updated our previous in the forward traversal we'll update our next in the reverse traversal so now the next will be will be storing 4 as while we are in this node the next has an address of 4 and the value stored in the address space of the current node is 7 so the address of the previous node will be 4 exhaust 7 which is equals to 3 so we got the address of the previous node so in this way we form a doubly linked list which has a space complexity which is equal to that of a singly linked list so i hope you have understood this concept of zord linked list uh, if you have any doubt you can go through the code we have provided in the comment section and you can also join our telegram channel for discussion and doubts we are open to answer all of your queries